Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and that right there was the trailer for Update 9 for Prehistoric Kingdom. So, this is coming out on December 16th, which, yeah, this looks really good. Like, we know about the Aranosaurus, we know about the Carcrodonosaurus, and the Mudabarosaurus, but what we didn't know about was Spinosaurus itself. So, that was definitely the most unexpected part of this trailer. And um, I could not be happy to see an accurate Spinosaurus in a game properly swimming, as you can see right here. And also smiled on swimming and various other things, including new fonts. Um, yeah, the grassland biome looks spectacular. And I love the more African scenery going, going on right here. And yeah, all the dinosaurs look so fantastic in the game. Spinosaurus as a new creature, seeing it um, acting in game is yeah that is brilliant i i love the look of it and yeah spinosaurus <laughs> so it is specifically spinosaurus aegypticus so there are no other species but it does have some distinctive skin so this one that you can see here is really going for that crocodilian aesthetic with the osteoderms and scoots going on here and the more rigid um exterior um, there are more skins that are more like lizards, so more leathery, and yeah, just like a lizard. But um, yeah, I love how this Spinosaurus is looking. Looks fantastic. I love the skull, the trapezium sort of shape sca uh, scale, sail, the knuckle walking that you could see at the end of that trailer. I mean, I, I say it knuckle walking, it's just on its knuckles, just sitting there. Um, yeah, look at the look at the feet too. Feet look great. You have the fourth toe actually almost touching the ground there. And of course the big paddle shaped tail that has been the the voice of discussion these last few years when it comes to this to, to the Spinosaurus and how it looks. So yeah. So let's take a deeper dive into this trailer. So our first shots um give us a look at this um this park in Tan on the Tanzanian savannah. So you can see all these uh, bits of African scenery, these cool new um, savannah fences that you can see there with a bit of climb proof action going on there. And um, I love the rocks too, the rocks look fantastic. And you can see those sort of columns out in the back, and you've got these all these acacia trees. Yeah, it's looking great. And this other shot showing more of the rocks, the reeds, the palm trees, and the Mudabarosaurus right there. So yeah, this is this is looking great. So we've got our Mudabarosaurus, the first species to have been confirmed for this update, in action, in game, looking absolutely beautiful. I love this the skin in the middle. It's really, really got eye catching features. The sort of jaguar print pattern and the 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 bits of pure white that just dot around its body, particularly around the spine, the feet, and the head. And that bright orange flare at the front. Um, um, we also see Aranosaurus in the game as well, the one that was most recently confirmed to be coming to Prehistoric Kingdoms Update 9, looking beautiful as ever. And then we get the reveal of Spino Boy, as um, I've seen the community sort of dub it over the years. So this is its more lizard like look. So you've got the folds of skin around where the back meets the belly and yeah just lacking all those crocodilian features it looks beautiful here so this is the female of a skin that we do see later walking among the mangrove trees and you've got a few banners there as well as a what looks to be like a new electric fence i want to say but i haven't really looked at the fences too often these days so I could, that could be a, a fence we've already got but hey if it's new it's new um, we also get a look here comparing the two. So we've got the crocodilian um, looking spino feeding on some fish, and we've got the lizard <laughs> lizard spino in the back. Yeah, it's it's looking really good this this update. Yeah. I really love how the, the detail of the spino is captured here. You can see all the individual scoots and osteoderms and yeah, just all the scales. <laughs> you can just see it all. And we also get our look at the Carcrodontosaurus, which here looks 
See, it has a striking resemblance to the Jurassic Park Operation Genesis Carcodonosaurus, particularly the skin. Like, it's got the red brows and the mostly dark back and overall body color with the white details. But yeah, car car looks great in the game. And we get a good look at the grassland biome here with all the different grasses and trees that, yeah, will make a really interesting map to build on. We also see Spinosaurus here in its open wetland habitat. And we see two swimming right there. So they will actually fold their feet um, and hands back to give them more propulsion. So that's going to be really cool to see. And we get this good shot of the male of the um, lizard spino that we saw earlier has some really good and vibrant patterns going on at the top of the sail there yeah it's looking really good i love how it looks swimming we also got a shot of the smile on swimming as well and new fonts as well so you'll be able to create new new titles and branding on your buildings being able to tell guests exactly where they are and tell of course, the player where they are. So it's going to be good for um, knowing your way around your park. We also get a lovely shot of Paraceratherium here in front of one of these. Uh, I, I don't know exactly what these are, these large white columns with the thatch at the top. I don't know what they're called. If, if someone knows what they are, do leave it in the comments down below. Um, so get our last shot of the Spinosaurus on the knuckles. Yeah, looking absolutely fantastic. I love how it looks in this game. This is probably my favorite Spinosaurus I've ever seen in the game. As much as I love the Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World Spino, yeah, this, this one takes the cake. This one looks absolutely amazing. I love how this guy's looking. It's, it's just great to see an accurate Spinosaurus in the game for once. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, so yeah, restating. December 16th is when the update um, releases. So mark your calendars, guys, because this is a good update. And I think at the end of December and December's dev diary, we're probably going to get like a, a bit of a, re a review on update 9. And, well, a bit of a tease for update 10, perhaps. What the biome is and what that second mammal alongside Panthera is. But um, yeah, so that is Update 9's trailer and trailer breakdown. I mean, it's not the most in-depth breakdown you've ever seen, but really just covering the most important parts of it. So, yeah, let me know what your favourite part of this trailer was, what your favourite part of Update 9 is. Leave those in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to see more Prehistoric Kingdom or any other dinosaur and animal games, yeah, please subscribe because... We will certainly do more, especially with Plant Zoo's stream happening tonight. Um, at least tonight for me. It's probably going to be the middle of the day for you. But, um, yeah, depending on your time zone. But we're going to finally find out what that DLC is. But, yeah, lots of, lots of good things are happening in the dinosaur and animal community. And also the kaiju community uh, with the recent release of the Godzilla and Kong, the new Empire trailer. Looks fantastic, by the way. And yeah, we're eating good these holidays. It's going to be really fun. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.